Are you looking for this kind of product motion graphics design? In this video, not only is it super easy to create, but it's also completely free. So make sure to watch this video tutorial until the end as I'll teach you step by step. Let's get started. First, open your Canva. Then at the bottom, you'll see the video option, just click it. On the left side, click elements and search for the background you want. You can choose between graphics or photos, scroll down, and you'll see lots of options. I chose a background for my design and resized it. Next, I picked a color that I liked. To make it more creative, I added another background, resized it again, went to position, and dragged it. Now, upload your main subject and resize it. Go to Elements again and search for a circular shape. Once you've selected it, resize it. Go to Position and place it behind your subject. I also changed the color of the circle to match the subject. Canva offers photo colors to make it easier to choose. Once the colors are adjusted, upload another image and resize it. Here's a tip. You'll see one of my subjects placed outside of page one. Why? Want to know? But before that, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Back to Canva, since we're creating motion graphics, click page one, right click, and select duplicate page. On page two, move the first subject outside of the canvas area to reveal the second subject. To align the second subject, go to position, click the image, and move it inward. You'll see how the transition works later. Also changed the background color on page to so it doesn't look the same as page one. Once you're happy with the layout, hover your mouse between page one and page two. Click Add Transition, select Match, and move on the left side, and click it. This is why we moved the second subject outside earlier. Next, click the first subject, go to Animate, and select Tumble. Adjust page one's duration to 2.0 seconds. Then, add an animation effect to the circle background. Page 2. Also set the duration to 2.0 seconds and play it to preview the result. Go to Position, click the background, delete it, and choose a new background. Search for a background in Elements, scroll down, and pick one. Resize it. Go to position and drag it downward. Adjust everything neatly. I wanted a darker color for the second background, so I changed it. Click the subject image, go to animate, and pick the animation style you like. You can choose whether the animation appears on both, on enter, or on exit. Play it again to check, and then add an animation to the circle background. 
I selected the breathe effect. Always check the transitions and animations for smooth flow. Adjust the sizes to ensure everything looks balanced. Once you're satisfied, click page 2, right click and duplicate page. On page 3, delete unnecessary elements. Hover your mouse between page 2 and page 3, click the transition, and select match and move again. Choose a background for page 3. Go to position and drag it downward. Preview it again. When everything looks good, add text to your design. Write the details you want to include in your motion graphics. For mine, I typed new, highlighted the text, and selected the Anton font. Resize and position it. Hold Alt on your keyboard and drag using your mouse to duplicate the text. I typed arrival and adjusted the position. Then, I chose colors for the text and applied a neon effect from the effects tab, adjusting the intensity to 100 for better visibility. Right click, select copy style, and apply it to another text to ensure consistent effects. Next, pick animations for the text. Play the preview to check the result. For page three, I decided a dark background looked better, so I replaced it. Here, I just played it again to visualize which one is better. Then, once it's okay, I just added text again with the name of my product. Whatever details you see here are just samples for the video tutorial. Here, I still chose the Anton font. Then, I just changed the text color to white. Then go to Effects, click on Lift. After that, just adjust the intensity. The purpose of this is to make the text more readable. Let's duplicate the text again. Here, to make the design more balanced, I placed the rest of the product name in this section. Then go to Position and move the text down towards the subject. Next, duplicate the text again and change it to the hollow effect. Adjust the thickness as needed, and that's the final design for page one. It's also important to always check the size of each element to ensure everything is balanced. Next, let's go to animate. 
Adjust where the text will enter the page. Then click Create an Animation and hold Shift while dragging to create straight lines. After that, go to Movement Style and select Smooth. Next, let's add animation to one of the texts, specifically the speed. Then, choose an effect that best matches the design. Next, we'll do the same process for page 2. Add the product name, change the color, and adjust the font, then apply effects. It's the same process as page 1, so I'll fast forward the video to get to the exciting part. While replaying it, I noticed that a dark background looks better, so I replaced it. Once you're satisfied with the color, add the two subjects and position them. Here, I placed the text new on the left side and the product on the right side. For arrival, I placed it on the lower right side and another product on the lower left side. Always replay the video to check how it looks. Then, let's add animation to one of the shoes at the bottom. Choose the effect you like. Congratulations! You've completed this video tutorial, and I hope you can create your own motion graphics design that's even better than mine. I believe in you, you've got this. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell button to stay updated on my latest tutorials.